hi, it's the 18th of April, this Sunday is a big run, i um, really nervous. The last couple of weeks I've been um, training lots, I brought it all back down now, um, I did my last run yesterday, my legs, oh they just want to run now because I've not done anything all day and now it's ten past two so normally I've done something and um, so tomorrow morning we're off um, to go we're staying at Milton Keynes tomorrow and then Saturday morning I'm going straight to London and I'm uh, going to go and register in and um, have some time and go to the pasta party and then Sunday morning oh, I just keep having nightmares about it just hope I can do it I'm sure I will because I'm determined to do it and but I'm still so scared. I'm scared if I get lost, if I can't find anyone at the end. Just have to take it in, step by step. And hopefully, so I'm going to speak to you uh, after the run and uh, fingers crossed I do it. Oh! <laughs> anyway, speak to you then. Bye bye. Hi! I did it! <laughs> It was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed it. I love the atmosphere and I love the day. We uh, went down on the Friday night and we sent, stayed over at a hotel and then we went into London on the Saturday and it was brilliant. Um, I was so emotional. I think I could have cried at anything. When my friends and family left me, I was emotional then. And then when I uh, went through the start line, I was, oh, just a lump in my throat. That's what all the training that I've done, I just went for it. Um, I found it hard, this bit, I would say about just before halfway, so to get a bit bored really. And I thought, come on, you need to get it going and you've got to get, a, get to the end. Um, so yeah, I was really chuffed and uh, the last couple of miles dragged on but I never hit this wall that everyone was terrifying me with telling me that it's going to be so hard when you hit this wall it's all over mind and you just got to go through it so I, went, I didn't sleep the two nights before thinking oh my goodness what place if I don't do it but I did and when uh, I was looking out for my family and thought I'm not going to walk because if I walk I'm surely going to see my friends and family and they would see me walking so I just carried on slowly all the way through I got 4.22 um, at the end and just about a mile before, um, just before I saw the finish line, I saw my friends and family and it was all screaming, go on Erica, I was just like, oh my god, don't cry, put yourself to go for her, because if you start crying, you're not going to breathe because you're out of breath, but every song that came on reminded me of my kids, my husband, things that had happened, oh, I could have been a bull of a wreck, I could, but anyway, I did it and I'm so pleased. And yesterday when we got back, my legs were killing me. So I got Scott to give me a bit of a massage. Oh, that killed, but I feel so much better from it. And I've just been to the gym and done um, a class and a bit of a on the bike and some weights. And I feel okay. I might just do it next year, I don't know. I said no way at the beginning, but now I'm thinking, I probably will. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening to me going on about rubbish. And I'll um, thank you for your support to give a trust.